everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a bunny out of this tin can. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. All right, so these are biscuits that I got from Home Depot and some wooden hearts and this is some chalk paint. I'm gonna paint my tin can and the lid with the chalk paint. You have to do a couple of coats. And then I'm also painting the two biscuits and the two hearts. And then I decided to get these hearts and showing you and I dumped the whole bag out. <laughs> Anyways, I have these little hearts and I'm going to paint one of them pink chalk paint with chalk paint that I'm going obviously I have to distress everything don't do this part if you don't like distressing stuff <laughs> but I'm putting the distressing on everything and then I have a little bit of blush and I'm going to put it in the middle to make it look like you know an ear and then I put three little ovals on the bottom of the heart so that it looks like the bottom of a little bunny foot <laughs> all right then this is where it gets interesting. Um, I take the biscuits and I glue them together and then I kind of build it up because I want them to actually stay together. Is there an easier way to do this? Probably. Do I know it? No. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let that dry. And then while that's drying, I take my little foot that I made and I glue it onto the can. I'm just trying to see where the back is um, and of course I forgot to distress gasp so I went back and distressed it again if that's not your thing don't do it but holy Toledo I love distressing um, I'm using it's a Tim Holtz distress I think it's like a blending brush maybe no it's like a distressing brush and just um, an ink pad is all I'm doing and then I'm going all over it Look at how cool that looks. Oh, I love it. All right. Um, and yeah, I, I know. I glued it on. I'm like, all right, we're already here. We might as well just try. It worked out okay. It's fine. All right. So next, we're going to distress the lid as well. And obviously, you see that I had to, I cut the lid using one of those smooth can openers. Um, and then we're going to put the other foot on. Look at how cute already. Ah. Um, and then we're going to put its a little nose on. Um, I put it going this way and I put it kind of high up and then um, and I'm just using regular hot glue, the Ryobi hot glue. I think it's um, Gorilla Glue that I used. Um, and on the back, I decided to put a little dollop of glue and then, oh, it's a cotton ball. <laughs> so cute. So stop it. All right. You don't have to do that part either if you don't want to, but I think it's cute as a button. All right. Then we're going to put those biscuits that we glued together, we're going to put them on the top of the can and we're going to do similar as we did with the ears that we're going to try to build it up so that it stays put. Again, is there an easier way to do this? Sure. I'm sure of it. I just don't know it. Um, you do want to hold it there until it dries a bit, but look, we did it. Hooray. Um, I put a little bow on the top just to hide all that glue. Look at how cute. Awesome. And then look, oh, I love it. Now I did dot the back of my um, brush in some black to make some eyes. I don't even know if the eyes were necessary, but are you kidding? You can put candy, whatever. Friends, I hope this inspires you.